You know, baseball is becoming bigger and bigger market. Phil Dale is one of those scouts that's scouting the Pacific Rim in Australia. As well, he's been a coach with the national program as well, and Phil's a good guy. And I've, I've actually uh, been, been at events where he's been, and he's a very pleasant man to visit with. And uh, congratulations to him to be in the Australian Baseball Hall of Fame as Chi Chang is up. As a son on the junior national team, Ling Chi Ching to the plate, two away. Pitch misses outside. I mentioned earlier, the designated hitters have been very powerful in this game. It was in the fifth inning after the rain delay that this young man came up and hit a three-run home run. Has to be the turning point in the game, Warren, because it was right after the rain delay. Ground ball over. Parrish gets in front of it. Makes the play unassisted. A quick one, two, three inning. It is still Chinese Taipei 8-4. You're watching the IBA World Junior Baseball Championships. You are watching the gold medal game here from Thunder Bay, Ontario. It is Team Australia versus Team Chinese Taipei. Eight nothing Taipei over Australia. And the hitter to the plate now is the leadoff hitter, Andrew Campbell, the left fielder. Campbell's over tournament. 0 for three though today, but he still has his average well above the 300 mark. Looking to be a catalyst here for Tony Harris, the manager of Team Australia. And that ball's hit back up the middle sharply. A leadoff single for Campbell. Yeah, good job by Campbell. Took that pitch and went right up the middle with it. Squared the bunt on the first one and uh, took the next pitch and just smashed it up the middle just behind the pitcher, Wee Chan Chung. We were talking a little bit about uh, the round robin in, in Pool A, Australia and Chinese Taipei both reside in Pool A. 12 teams in this tournament, but it's a Taipei team that's worked its way up through the semifinals and into the finals, and they even had a tough time against the Team USA earlier, so it just depends on who's pitching on what day. Yeah, and when, and when you get your wins, and what they've done is been able to put a good string together here in the middle round. Ball in the dirt, it gets past the catcher. It is past the catcher, and he cannot find it as he goes back. Ting Yen not able to locate that ball. I thought the runner, Campbell, might try to go to third base. It's a rare time that Lim Ting Yen has not been able to keep the ball in front. Yeah, and we see the manager now from Chinese Taipei coming out, but it was a ball that hit well in front of the plate, I think, and it, it, Unfortunately for Ting Yang, he wasn't able to get it, but it fastball in that pitch and it hit somewhere near the e edge of the plate. And I think it took a funny hop on him and he had to have it pointed out by his manager over there where it was. That will be a wild pitch. As out to the mound is Huang Wu Sheng, the manager of Chinese Taipei, pointing out not only that, but to his defense, setting up what exactly he wants to do. None away here in the top of the eighth inning. It's Australia down by four runs. They need to put together a couple of hits, maybe a couple walks. They need a rally. They do, and it started all right with uh, Campbell getting on base. And now it's up to Eunice uh, to uh, get his first hit. He did have a line drive, but it turned into a double play when he lined it to second base earlier in the game. As often happens when the coach or manager comes out, a first pitch strike to one of the hottest hitters, if not the hottest hitter, coming to this game for Australia, batting 385 with nine RBIs and two triples, the second baseman, Jacob Eunice. 1 1 count, the delivery, fouled straight back, a very good cut by Eunice, who hails from Sydney, Australia, as his hometown. The team of choice is Wentworthville. And only 16 years old coming into this tournament. 5'10", 187 pounds. This young man has a chance to be a star for Australia for a few years to come. That's good, and that's, uh, he's performing very well at 16. One-two count. Swung on and missed. Not happy with that offer. But it is Wei Chung able to paint that pitch on the inner part of the plate, stayed away, came back inside. Yeah, back inside, you'll see that pitch coming underneath the hands, and Jonas was well ahead of it, couldn't get it on the barrel. Now up for Team Australia is Jordan McDonald, the third hitter in their lineup and playing third base. 
looks like the tempo, from what I can see from Wei Chung, starting to pick up a little bit more. Yeah, and he, uh, he's trying to get, uh, he's, he's not using that delay tactic because he's in the set position, so he has to pitch normal, and he gets in the set, and then he goes. A one pitch. Tentative swing from McDonald. That was a good fastball in the inner half, and McDonald couldn't extend the arms at all, and kind of took a half swing to get try to get at it, but uh, there was no way he could hit that pitch. Andrew Campbell is at second base. Delivery, the pitch. Ticked off the end of the bat and fell down the first baseline. There's number one, Wong Jai Wei, working in the pen for Team Chinese Taipei. You need to use everybody in a gold medal game to secure the victory. And you will. And you will. <laughs> you would know. You've managed a number of international events for Canada. That's a good swing by this young hitter, the third hitter, Jordan McDonald, out at second base. Is Andrew Campbell is a product of the Cleveland Indians organization now, as well as Ryan Battaglia. Both will be coming over to the United States to further their careers and see if they can get to the big leagues. Graham Lloyd, the pitcher for, or the pitching coach for Team Australia, played 10 years in the big leagues. Their hitting coach, Glenn Williams, had a cup of coffee with the Minnesota Twins. There's a hard hit ground ball. First baseman scoops it up, takes it unassisted. Chi Xian. As he flips the ball back over to Wei Chung, and the runner moves up. Campbell does the third base, two away. Yeah, good job by the first baseman. Just make sure the routine play, you're only five outs away. He now has made it only four outs away from a World Junior Championship. And a World Junior Championship that would be only the second for Chinese Taipei since this tournament started in 1981. It was 1983 in Johnstown when they got it. First pitch in for a strike to the cleanup hitter and mentioned before Cleveland Indians product, Ryan Battaglia. After two strikeouts, he had a single there, his last at bat. We'll see if he can knock in a run here and try to get some momentum going Australia's way. They certainly need it. They struggled early. They looked a little nervous, a little tentative. They then bounce back. Matavese hits a three-run home run. They go on top. And all of a sudden, maybe the momentum halted for Australia. Good fastball there by Wei Chang. He, or Wei Chung, he was able to get that on the inner half. And Bataglia couldn't extend the arms to hit it. I, I think you, the rain also took a, some of the momentum away from um, Australia as well. And, and Chinese Taipei took advantage of it and had a big, big bottom of the fifth inning. They seem to be the one to come out and really, they were at the plate. And it's almost better in that situation to go up and hit rather than be defensively, isn't it? Yeah, I think Australia came into the mindset in that inning that, hey, we're ahead. We're, we've almost got the world championship. Uh, but unfortunately, away it goes in you know, a couple quick pitches and a big three-run homer. Two out, one-two count. That ball is hit out to second base, but not with enough on it. The second baseman, Yang Hong Shen, makes the play. Once again, Taipei gets out of it. You are watching the IBAF World Junior Baseball Championships from Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. This is the 11th time that Canada has hosted the IBAF, IBAF 18 and under World Junior Baseball Championship tournament. Canada has only won one gold in the tourney. They won that in Brandon, Manitoba. Cuba, on the other hand, has won 11, but they are not in that gold medal game. This happens to be Team Australia versus Team Chinese Taipei, and stepping to the plate is the catcher, Lin Tsing Yen. Takes a good hack at a pitch from Lucas Backer here to start off the bottom of the eighth inning. Taipei up eight to four, and the momentum has all gone their way, Jim Bauer. It has, and Ting Yang has 476 batting average in this game, and he's been an integral part of making the pitchers throw pitches to his his uh, spot in the, the catcher's box and, uh, and blocked almost every pitch that's come his way, and uh, he's helped lead this team to that 8-4 lead. 2 count. Backs him off the plate. Good pitch, a little purpose pitch. Moves the count to so one. So what you're saying is there going to be a breaking ball to the outside now? 
You might like to think that. We'll see what Bataglia offers. Most definitely it is. One catcher outthinking another. And it is Lin Ting Yen going back to the dugout. Yeah, he set him up with the inside pitch there. He got the fastball inside, got the feet moving, and it's pretty well automatic that you're gonna try something in one and two count. And he's put that fastball in there, and then one and two count, he throws the breaking pitch outside for the strikeout. So a strikeout swinging. This pitch is lofted into right center field. The right fielder is coming in. He takes charge, but it bounces behind him. Jake White not able to catch that ball, slips on the wet grass as he's trying to pull it out of the sky right now. The sun has just set, and that could be another key error for this Australian team that has cost them. They already have four errors in the game, and that has led now to eight runs for Team Chinese Taipei. Yeah, second baseman uh, Jacob Jonas was out there, and Jake White did his job, called him off. He figured he could get there, and, and well, he could. You see this fly ball, it's there, and the outfielder should call off the infielder, but unfortunately, as he goes to stop and dive for it, slipped, and I think his head bounced a little bit on the dive play, and the ball lands, and a, and a good bit of base running as well by Yao Sung to get all the way to second base. He actually called it a hit, Warren. That was a hit, did not hit the glove. Wow, Yao Sung now at second, the center fielder. That brings up the hottest hitter for Taipei. It's Lin Su Wei. Good fastball there by Backer. Got, him, got it by him on the outside corner, and uh, Su Wei has lived on the outside corner, as you can tell by his batting average. 0-2 count, one away. Man on second base. Every, every pitch out there, he's been able to in two games we've done on broadcast, been able to go to left field, and uh, he's had a big-time tournament, a big-time championship. One and two. Misses away. Good hitters, they love to get those arms extended. We saw the Cuban team against Canada in the bronze medal game. Everything the opposite way, arms extended. Yeah, they, they banged their hits to the right field line. Three or four right-hand hitters all took pitches down the right field line, and it led to four or five RBIs. Staying inside, nice play by the third baseman. Jordan McDonald throws it over just to get the speedy Lin Chu Wei. Gets from the left side, gets that, and now the ball se seemed to get away, just checking to make sure the runner didn't advance. Nice play, Jordan McDonald. Yeah, great play, and uh, Chu Wei t takes an inside off-speed pitch and still went the other way, and he's living on that that side of the diamond, but McDonald made, it, made a great play. Now, do you like that? Do you like even though it, the pitch is in to, that he still tries to offer it the other way? Should he try and pull that? Well, that's their mentality and, and the way they coach. They're always in, 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 and trying to go that way. And sometimes, uh, you know, as, as he gets older and if he tries to advance, he's going to learn how to pull that pitch a little bit better. But he's constant and he's be consistent going that way. With two out, Ko Chi Wei, the left fielder, steps in against Lucas Backer, right hander for Team Australia. Taglia offers with the glove, saying, keep it down, keep it down. Backer is not able to get it down and obliged to his catcher. We see He Young Park making the call, even though Bataglia popped up on that pitch, still calling it a strike. Two and one, two out. Foul back, even it up at twos. Two and two, two away, eight nothing Chinese Taipei over Australia, getting very late in the ball game. Eight four in this game, very late. And you look at uh, Taipei and you look at their momentum, it's gonna be very difficult for Australia to battle their way back. inside taking it to a full count 10 hits for Taipei only six for Team Australia four big errors for Australia have cost them 
Yeah, they have. Like, they're big two unearned runs back in the seventh inning, or sorry, I should say back there in the There goes the inning. runner. The throw down for Bataglia, not in time to get Wu Yao Sung. It was a called strike. Excuse me, it was a called strikeout, so that throw did not matter. The strikeout was on Ko Chi Wei right here. Swing and miss. You're watching the IBF World Junior Baseball Champions. Last opportunity for Team Australia here in the gold medal game in Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. They are down eight to four, and it's Luke Parrish at the plate baseman and he takes a strike in from the pitcher on the hill the left-hander Wang Wei Chung it's a weak ground ball up the middle second baseman over to the first baseman an easy play and only two outs remaining for the manager, Tony Harris, and Team Australia to make something happen. Let's give some credit to a nice play there by the second baseman as well. But uh, I was going to go to, let's give some credit to Wei, Wei, Wei Chung. What a job he's done come in, in in the fifth inning, and he's basically shut down this offense of Australia, left it at four. There's no more runs on the bar board. There's hardly any hits, and he's done a really, really good job with offsetting the, the batters with different type pitches, and you see another off-speed breaking pitch go in there for a strike, so give him credit for job well done. And that breaking ball was to Jake White, the right fielder. A little bit of a miscue last inning, allowed a double. Two Taipei, 0-1, oh one, one out. Hard hit ground ball, out to the shortstop, stays with it, fires it over. Nice play, Liao Chung Kai, and two away, and you can see the Chinese Taipei now is feeling as they clap their gloves and they pound and chatter around the infield that their destiny to win a gold medal is right in front of them. You can see it on the bench. There's some hopping on the bench as well, and every one of them's got a big smile on their face. Only one other time has Chinese Taipei won the gold medal. That was back in 1983. Can it happen now? The batter is Josh Metavese, a home run on the day and a hit by pitch. Pitch is down. He also grounded out to third base in the seventh inning. He's been a solid hitter here as the designated hitter, but Taipei can feel it. They are up eight to four, two away. Just missed on the outside corner, did Wei Chung. Patience now. Australia needs some base runners. 2-0 count. Swung on and missed. Home runs will not do anything right now for Australia. They need base runners, but the way this young left-hander, Wang Wei Chung, has pitched, you can see the excitement, and why not? for Chinese Taipei. Two and one count, two away. Top of the ninth inning. Swung on again in the catcher. Tin Yang does a great job to keep it in front. Boy, oh boy, you cannot ask for a better scenario with the general behind the plate. Tin Yen guiding his team. One more strike left for Josh Metavese and Team Australia. Let the pitchers do the talking, it is a one. Just missing down, <laughs> full count, two out, top of the ninth inning, gold medal game. <laughs> Sounds great. Full count, two out, ninth inning, the delivery. That ball's hit hard down the left field line. Well, what foul. Matavesi got all of that one. Unfortunately for him, just slightly in front of it. Another life. And it's been a stalwart here today for Team Australia. They've come up a little bit short. As the catcher, Ting Yen, goes out to his pitcher. Just going to soak up. There's the manager, Hung Wu Sheng. They came into this game with a 6-1 and one record overall. 4-0 as the home team, and that is what they are tonight. Looking to make it 5-0 and 7-1 and 
for a record here, for a gold medal, only the second ever for Chinese Taipei. Once again, full count, two out. Just missing high. So Matabesi has had a solid day three times. Now he has reached base. 